Jordan Peele is back. The brains behind hit movies such as Get Out, Black Klansman, and Us is set to drop his latest movie this summer, and fans, ourselves included, cannot wait. The talented New Yorker is writing, directing, and producing the universal release, Nope, adding to his long list of movies in the horror genre. Today, we're talking about Nope and everything we know about it so far, so don't go anywhere. First up, what's it all about? Let's see. As with most of his movies, Peele has remained relatively tight-lipped about the premise of Nope, but it has been described as an expansive horror epic. We don't exactly know what this means, but it sounds impressive, right? Basically, the movie will follow the story of residents of a small town in California who witness something that will apparently change their lives forever. The synopsis reads, the residents of a lonely gulch in inland California bear witness to an uncanny and chilling discovery, but it doesn't really give anything away. We can also probably say that this is the first time we've seen the word gulch used. If Peel's previous works are anything to go by, we can probably guess the story will include some sort of deeper meaning, as with Get Out in particular. So we wouldn't be too shocked if Nope was another social commentary of some sort or another. We know there will probably be something to do with aliens, as the trailer shows odd things flying around the sky and people levitating all over the place. To add to this, there are blackouts and objects being sucked up towards the clouds. It looks pretty bizarre. We obviously cannot confirm anything still, but we think the main antagonists of this one will probably be some sort of alien population. But will they be friendly or not? Are you looking forward to Nope? Let us know your thoughts below. Who's in it then? Collaborating with Peel for the second time is Get Out star Daniel Kaluuya, who plays James Haywood. Kaluuya shot to fame after playing the main role of Chris Washington in Get Out, which caught worldwide attention with its excellent premise. James Haywood is a ranch owner who witnesses the aforementioned events in Nope, alongside his wife, Jill Haywood, played by Kiki Palmer. Palmer appeared in the Key and Peele show back in 2013, but is probably best known for her work in the 2019 movie Hustlers, alongside stars like Julia Stiles and Jennifer Lopez. Steven Yoon will also be joining us as Brian. The South Korean-American actor is almost certainly most recognizable from his role as Glenn on The Walking Dead, which he played for almost 70 episodes. Yoon has also worked with Peel before on the reboot of The Twilight Zone back in 2019, appearing as a guest on the episode entitled A Traveler. Yoon appeared in the critically acclaimed 2020 movie Minari, which he also executive produced. Also joining the cast is Canadian actor Michael Wincott, who rose to fame as Guy of Gisborne in the 90s movie Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Brandon Perea will also make an appearance as Craig, and Barbie Ferriera of Euphoria fame will be playing the role of Danielle. Rounding out the cast is Terry Notari, best known for his stunt works. What do you guys think of the Nope cast? What else do we know about Nope? Stay tuned to find out. Apparently, according to IMAX, Peel's new movie will feature some scenes which have been filmed with IMAX cameras. These cameras different from regular movies as they are known for having a proprietary system of high-resolution cameras. They are primarily designed to show film on very large screens with a tall aspect ratio. According to Megan Colligan, president of IMAX cameras, the filmed in IMAX program allows certain points of the film to be developed exactly as the filmmaker wants it, creating a full movie-going experience. IMAX is usually intended for movie screens, so with the world now almost back to normal following the COVID pandemic, it is clear that Nope was filmed with this firmly in Peel's mind. Generally, movies which are intended for streaming platforms, such as Netflix, won't use IMAX cameras because the format isn't meant for smaller screens, so it's obvious that Peel sees this as a potential summer blockbuster. The official release date for this one is July 22, 2022, according to Peel's recent Twitter post, which revealed the movie's poster. The poster itself shows a mountainous landscape with a cloud above it. The cloud appears to have a tail coming out of it, which resembles the tail of a kite, but we cannot wait to see how this plays into the story. What do you guys make of the poster? Let us know below. Next up, Peel has been compared with a legendary filmmaker. Stay with us to hear all about it. Nope will be Peel's sixth movie in his fledging career. He also has a movie coming through after this one called Wendell and Wild, and he has accumulated a lot of fans in the process. Universal exec Donna Langley has recently spoken out about the change in direction the studio has had in the recent years, and referenced Peel in particular. While the studio has had at least three $1 billion movies under Langley's stewardship, she always wanted to focus more on the horror genre after the unparalleled success of Get Out, which grossed more than a quarter of a billion dollars, with a budget of just $4.5 million. What else has the studio been up to recently then? Let's see. Universal also has the highly anticipated Oppenheimer coming through within the next year, with Christopher Nolan's movie set to drop in early 2023. The film also comes with bonus material surrounding Nolan's defection from Warner and how his relationship with Universal came about. Langley said about the new partnership, We really focus and strive to create an environment for filmmakers that is a place where they can just come and do their best work. That's what a filmmaker like Chris is looking for. Back in the early days of the pandemic, Universal was one of the first truly global studios to embrace PVOD, Premium Video On Demand. Langley & Co. saw the writing on the wall for the next 12 months and kicked it into gear pretty quickly. She has since been quoted as saying the decision has forever changed the industry. The move wasn't universally popular, sorry we couldn't help it, and other big 
big hitters in the industry were quick to show their disdain for the model, with AMC Regal banning Universal, which actually helped Warner and Disney for a short time. Obviously, things have improved since these crazy days, and Universal is back in cinemas now, which is great for the industry. So what else is going on in the horror genre? Stick around. Well, quite a lot, actually. This past weekend sees the release of Sissy, which is an obvious throwback to classic horrors such as Cabin in the Woods. Apparently, it is reminiscent of the hit Charlie Brooker show, Black Mirror, which we are all fans of over here. Fans of dystopian, horror-filled, tech-gone-wrong movies should definitely tune in for this one. It is set in Australia and follows a mental health advocate, Cecilia, who heads off to a childhood friend's bachelorette party, but comes face-to-face -face with a childhood bully. Cue the intense dramatic music. Next week sees the release of X, the story of an adult movie gone wrong. This one takes inspiration from films like The Visit and takes a peek at the found footage element of film. Things start going wrong after the adult film crew shack up at an old couple's backcountry guest house. The couple obviously find out what they are doing and are not pleased, to say the least. The footage focuses on footage left behind after the events, so it will be interesting to see how it merges with the horror genre. And finally, a May movie you should check out. May will see the release of Men, a movie which follows a young woman who goes on a trip in the English countryside after her husband passes away. Not much is known about this one, but it's written and directed by Alex Garland, who is in charge of the mega hit Ex Machina, so fans are curious to see what goes down in Men. The trailer is also pretty creepy and features scenes set in the dead of night, which will only serve to heighten the amount of jump scare moments, hopefully. As always, thanks for tuning in, and remember to stop by next time for some more fun and games. Also, why not share our video if you're feeling charitable? And don't forget to like and subscribe. Adios, amigos.